Welcome back, you guys. You know, I may have mentioned this once, twice, maybe a hundred times, mm -hmm. you know. I love a full meal in a bowl. <laughs> it's a simple, it's easy, right? And it's I love exciting. it when it's full of beef even more. Ah, uh, protein packed. Okay, so here with three recipes that come together in less than a half an hour. We have Ashley Kramer from the Minnesota Beef Council. <laughs> here she is. She's one of our favorites because she always brings <laughs> us some steak. It makes us so happy. I know, when I, when I see that she's on the schedule, it just makes me smile. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm like, I'm glad oh, you enjoy. yes, because you're always bringing us nice treats. It is good. Oh, yes, of course. These are good ideas ideas though because it's all kind of nice to put different ingredients family members can customize what they mm -hmm. like in their bowl Absolutely. Um, and this first one is a salad it looks like mm -hmm. but it yep. feels more like a full meal it is yep. yep so you've got your um, your vegetables and your protein um, this one actually has about 30 grams of protein and only 390 calories in the serving wow oh, get out. So, that's a great yep, it's a great huh? one for um, healthy eating um, this one does call for beef tenderloin okay um, or also known as the filet mignon. Mm. Um, but if you want a more economical cut, you could always go with something like a flat iron um, that's almost just as tender, but a little more economical. Yeah, but if you find a good deal on filet, just buy a bunch, throw them in the deep freeze. Right, there you go. Right, yeah, yeah absolutely. Freeze them, and then you're yeah. ready. Okay, yeah. so do you, want, do you have it all assembled? I do, so um, I'm gonna actually have you start cutting into the tenderloin, one of you, whoever uh, wants to do oh, it. Oh, you're probably better with your knife skills I than me. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, make sure you thinly know. slice it. Yeah. Um, that's kind of best for when you're serving beef on top of a salad. Oh, that's good pro tip. Yep, and so this cuts really easily. Um, my tip about cutting is that you don't want to stab it with a fork and then cut it because that's gonna let out those juices. Oh, yeah. So make sure to do it with yeah. the tons as you're doing there. Um, and then you can put it on top of the salad. We just have some simple greens. Um, it's pecans, toasted pecans, um, pears, and then um, I did decide to put some goat cheese on there. You could also do feta cheese. Like, you know, we both and then, love goat cheese. Yeah, yep. all about it. Mm -hmm. And then you can um, just go ahead and put that on there when okay. you cut up. Is it hard for you to not? You want to grab that in? I know, piece. I do want to grab that in. I, yeah, you knew you exactly. I know, it's like he's like, well, how can I get my fingers I know, I was just like inching myself so closer. So you can just try a piece um, if you want. So is this what they call when they when they say cut against the grain? Do it. That's, yes, That's absolutely. exactly kind of what it looks like. Yeah, right? so Do definitely cut against the grain. So Elizabeth, you did that correctly. Cutting mm -hmm. across the grain makes it more tender. Oh my um, gosh. And then the dressing for this is a honey mustard base, mm. adding in a little bit of water, um, some white wine vinegar, and salt and pepper, and then it, it drizzles nicely over the top. And that's it. And that's it. Okay, then yeah, you can dig in, try it if you like. And I love for the season, I love a nice, crisp, fresh pear. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's well for springtime. It's it's spring time, fresh, um, fresh ingredients. Yeah. brings a lot of vibrant color to your plate. It's going to be a big bite. Um, and I, don't I know. Care. I'm glad that you're holding this here. <laughs> See, salad isn't the easiest to eat, so there's no judging here. Mm. Oh, that dressing is. I say the dressing. I really like it. It's kind of that honey That's mustard incredible. sweet, but it's also tangy with that with that. Um, White wine vinegar. All right, listen, at home we like to play a game called What Would You Pay For This In A Restaurant? Jay and I do this oh. all the time. So when sure. I serve a plate of food, I'm like, what are you going to pay for this at a restaurant? This is easily like a $19.95 to $21.95 mm -hmm. salad. Yeah, I'd pay $89 for that. But that's, <laughs> that's all right. Okay, that's delicious. Yeah. All right, Perfect. next up we've got a burger bowl with yes. a little special sauce. I'm liking this idea. Yeah, so this is like a deconstructed burger, but it's minus the bun. So if you're gluten-free or maybe you want to cut out carbs, this is a great way to go. Um, so the special sauce in this, I'm gonna actually have you mix this together as okay. well. Mm -hmm. um, so you start with mayo, great. just some standard mayo, um, and then whoever wants to mix it in, but this is- You want to mix yeah. all pour. Okay, so ketchup sure. goes. Okay. Ketchup goes in. Okay. Um, Dijon mustard. Great. My, this is this your fork, right? right? I don't know. You can use it. Well, if you, want. Yeah, you can mix it all in. It's all yeah. Good. Or just grab that. Grab one of those, grab and then I'll keep yeah. eating off that one. Um, and then some apple cider vinegar. Throw oh. that in. This is the special sauce. This is the special sauce. Oh. Um, some diced pickles. Yeah. Love those pickles. Sorry um, about the ketchup. That's okay. Smell there, Ashley. Yep. Onion powder. Go ahead and throw that in, and then just some salt and pepper, and you just whisk that together, and it makes a really nice sauce that you can throw the. Okay, Bro. take it easy. You know, then, <laughs> I, I just really got to mix it in there, you know? That looks great. Then what else do you have on the bowl? So then you can assemble it with greens or whatever you would put on a typical burger. So if you like tomatoes, avocado, cheese, whatever you would throw on a burger, maybe um, some bacon, anything like that. Yeah. And you can throw oh, it into the bowl. Oh, that's good. Is that sauce? Yeah. Good? That's really good. Um, and I love the sweet potato And then idea. obviously, oh, yep, the sweet potato goes on there as well, or you can serve it on the side too. Either yeah. way. Oh, but this looks so fun. And then it's yeah. just ground beef. And then it's just ground beef seasoned with some salt and pepper. And then you can throw that on there. Um, the I like that you didn't do it as a burger. Like sometimes I see these bowls with like the burger and it yeah. feels like it's missing its friend, the bun. In this way, <laughs> it doesn't, it's not missing its friend. Know, it's just like out of that? a different party. Yeah, if I wanted a burger, then just, I would order the burger. Absolutely. But if I'm going to order a salad and a bowl, don't, don't leave it in the hamburger <laughs> shape. <laughs> 
real. It makes it feel a little more sad. So yeah, yeah this makes it look more vibrant, right, more so like a full a, meal. A dig does in this there? have the sauce on it? Oh, it yeah, does. So yep, it's got the sauce it. right in there. I don't know how um, I want it all the things in one bite. But. The other great thing I think about this too is you can always put it in Tupperware and then just heat up the ground beef, add it, and shake it all together too. So it's really great for meal prepping um, for the week or for quick meals on the go. Listen, that's another twenty one ninety five. There you go. <laughs> wow. I am one hundred percent sold. Ben will pay one nineteen. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay one nineteen for that. Ninety five. <laughs> there we go. Okay, one Perfect. more. All right, yes, something, this is a uh, Korean bowl. The, yeah. So again, a lot of flavors, a lot of color. This one um, is simple. You can do brown rice or white rice as the base, and then add again whatever vegetables you'd like. So this one I added some cabbage, some sliced carrots, broccoli, um, and then this one is a strip steak. Um, so grilled that to 145 medium rare, and then just sliced it again across the grain yep. and put it on top. Um, and then the dressing for this is just um, soy sauce oh, mixed with sesame oil. Yeah. You can just Ooh. drizzle that on top. That's it. And um, Just soy sauce and sesame oil, that's yep. it. Just soy sauce and sesame oil. You know what's easy about this too though, like it looks like you've got some kimchi on there, which yep, is so good, kimchi. but the rest of the vegetables are all raw, mm -hmm. which to me feels really easy to put together. So then yeah. all you're doing is like making some rice and a little mm -hmm. thing, which you could probably have meal prep too, mm -hmm. and then you've got the steak. And that's it. Everything that's else it. is kind of assembled. Yeah, so super simple, but yet nutritious. Yeah. Um, something that you could always, like I said, prep ahead of time, keep in the fridge, um, you know, Big meal range. prep the, the vegetables and things ahead of time too. And the nice thing about these cuts of oh, steak yeah. is like, if you don't have the grill and it's kind of rainy and cold out like it is today, mm -hmm. just you can probably just do it right on your stove, oh, right? Oh, yeah. absolutely. I yeah. love skillet cooking, yeah. um, you know, in a cast iron skillet, and then it maintains all those flavors in that skillet too. You so. know what's nice about mm. these too is that these are all really delicious room temp. Like there's no need to have a big panic mm -hmm. that it's got to get on the table fast. It's mm -hmm. kind of just mm -hmm. that room temperature of everything. I love that. Yum. That's very good. <laughs> that is another one. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll go. Price that one. I, I think I'm going to go. That one's probably an 18.95 or <laughs> two. But yeah. you can make it cheaper at home. So. That one's right around 100 bucks for me. <laughs> yeah. It depends on how hungry I am. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Ashley, thank you, so yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was really, really good. All right, we posted all these recipes featured here today on TwinCitiesLive.com. You can find more information about the Minnesota Beef Council as well, including recipe ideas and meal planning. Visit MNBeef.org. You know,